What up nomads? Springtime is finicky and packing for weather that varies hour to hour is one of my biggest challenges when traveling light. In this video, I'll share my best tips for packing clothes, shoes, and accessories that will give you as much flexibility as possible when you really don't know what the weather has in store. Let's go. If you've been following me for some time, you'll know that I start every packing list with the questions, what is the weather going to be? What are my activities? What is the vibe? And how long is my trip? But after that, another question that can really give me the inspiration I need to start packing is, what is my color palette for this trip? With those five questions in mind, I'm usually able to start narrowing down what I want to pack. But let's go back to that question of the weather because in spring and fall, those very unpredictable seasons, not only can the weather change and fluctuate quite a bit over a couple of days, but it can change within a few short hours. So how do you pack and how do you put together outfits for that kind of weather? Well, let's talk footwear and outerwear first. In terms of protection from the elements, it's worth considering how easy it would be to adapt to the absolute worst possible weather scenario once you're at your destination. For example, is it worth packing an umbrella and a raincoat for a 15% chance of rain when you could easily pick up a $10 umbrella at a drugstore if you really needed one? There's no right or wrong answer, but if you have to make some tough packing decisions, these types of questions can help prioritize. If you would rather come absolutely prepared or your trip isn't one where you'll have time to shop or access to department stores and drugstores, then in my opinion, this is where small packable clothes come in super handy. Sure, my pocketable raincoat is not my most stylish option, but it's the only one that I can toss into a purse for a day of sightseeing just in case. This packable coat concept isn't just for raincoats. You can get down coats, down vests, ponchos, and have them handy in case the weather turns, whether that's getting colder or starting to rain. In terms of footwear for transition weather, I wouldn't personally risk it with sandals nor suede, but everything else is fair game. Sneakers, great. If you think there's a chance of rain or sleet, maybe consider leather over canvas. Flats, great. If you think the weather will lean hot, a mule or something with cutouts might give you that breeziness you want without committing to a sandal. For shoes like loafers or ballet flats, you can always pack thin socks to wear if it's slightly too cold for exposed ankles. Plus, I find long days on my feet, sightseeing for example, are more comfortable with socks on. There's just less chance of rubbing and discomfort. When it comes to packing for transition weather or transseasonal, the key to absolutely no one's surprise is layering. That can be layering over, under, or just using the pieces that you've brought in new and creative ways. Here are a few of my favorite items that give a lot more flexibility to my travel capsules. Thin long sleeve layers. Whether this is a long sleeve shirt, a turtleneck, a paper thin top, these can add a bit of warmth and modesty to just about anything. These can be especially useful for dresses, vests, and tops that you want to wear over these items. A cardigan. Cardigans are a classic choice, buttoned up, unbuttoned, worn as a top, or even as a scarf in a pinch. Vests. Whether these are knit, made from tailoring material, or downfilled, vests can be worn as tops, layering items, or as a topper. Cardigan dresses or knit dresses. I love a good knit dress, and my favorite kinds button all the way down so you can wear them as a dress, as a top, or even as a duster. Long sleeve button ups, wrap tops, oversized shirts, or light deconstructed blazers are great layering pieces that have a softness to them and can easily be worn as a top or as a jacket shirt, jacket situation. Sleeveless dresses, with or without tights. Sleeveless dresses are the perfect way to have total control over how warmly you dress. Layer it over a long sleeve thin sweater and add tights and it's a winter dress. Wear it with flats or sneakers and it's a summertime look. If you get a wrap dress, you can use the same advice as for sweater dresses and wear them as a gilet or a duster. 
midi skirts. If it's not cold enough for tights, but not quite warm enough for mini skirts, a midi length can give you a bit more protection from the elements, which is great for weather that can fluctuate from day to evening. Scarves are another great tool to instantly change your outfit. If it's a little chilly, but not cold enough to pack a whole coat, wrapping yourself in a warm shawl can be the perfect compromise. A silk scarf around the neck can also be surprisingly cozy, or if on the flip side, it gets quite hot unexpectedly, you can use a silk scarf as head protection. In terms of styling, there are a few things that can make any outfit seem more spring-like or more cold weather-like in an instant, and that's hats and bags. Take this outfit for example. Style it with a light colored bag and a summery hat, and it's much lighter than when styled with a knit hat and a dark bag. And those are some of my favorite styling tips for transition weather. Let me know in the comments below if you have any other tips or share your suggestions for the next video topics I should cover. Thanks for watching. Happy travels. Thanks for watching this video until the end. For more content like this, make sure you subscribe to the Capsule Suitcase and turn on notifications so you get all the fresh content as soon as it comes out. Thanks for supporting this channel. Happy travels.